Hello everyone and welcome to this interesting session where I'm going to talk about the latest deep learning projects that you need to know. A lot of them are open source, a lot of them are not and I have added the links to all the open source deep learning projects in the description box below so do check it out after this video. So let's begin. Deep learning is clearly a field that has seen crazy advancement in the past couple of years. These advancements have been made possible by the amazing projects in this area and the need for data scientists and AI engineers are high in demand and this surge is due to the large amount of data we collect. So in this video I'll discuss some of the top deep learning projects all the way starting from lung cancer detection. Lung cancer has been one of the most difficult forms of disease to diagnose with doctors using their eyes for detection. The nodules are harder to spot and as a result the cancer is either detected too late or not detected at all. Now the nodules can have a variety of looks and it takes doctors years to know all the different looks which again is a cumbersome task. Now 12 Sigma an amazing company uses deep learning to train an AI algorithm that would help doctors analyze the CT scan of around 500 images of one particular lung more efficiently. Now they train the models on the GPU powered neural networks that runs 50 times faster than those running on the CPUs then again providing a very good lead and hospitals using these models can get the result in under 10 minutes which saves at least four to five hours of a doctor's work. Now this is a major step forward in the deep learning or the AI industry. And I'm sure a lot of these projects help us to get better results in the future. Now, Digitron, as I'm sure a lot of you might have heard, is the Facebook's AI research software system that implements state of the art object detection algorithms. It is written in Python and powered by the Cafe 2 deep learning framework. You can detect every object in a video and that to life. Just have a look at the image. How cool is it? Now the goal of Detectron is to provide a high quality high performance code base for object detection research. It is designed to be flexible in order to support rapid implementation and evaluation of novel research. Then again it contains more than 50 pre-trained models as well. It's an amazing deep learning project and I encourage people to go for it and check out the code base which is given in GitHub and it's an open source code so you guys can play along with the code. Now talking about deep learning we have wave glow. Deep learning is also doing major advancement in audio processing and it's not just generating music or classification. Wave glow is a flow based generative network for speed synthesis which is powered by Nvidia. So wave glow combines insight from glow and WaveNet in order to provide fast efficient and high quality audio synthesis without the need for auto regression. WaveGlow is implemented using only a single network trained using only a single cost function which in turn maximizes the likelihood of the training data and which makes the training procedures simple and stable. Now Google Brain is a sub part of Google which works only on deep learning and AI and Google Brain has devised some new software that can create detailed images from tiny pixelated source images. Google software in short basically means the zoom in now enhance. The TV trope is actually possible. Now first have a look at the image here. The left column contains the pixelated 8 cross 8 source images and the center column shows the images that the Google Brain software was able to create from those source images. Now for comparison the real images are shown in the right column and as you can see the software seemingly extracts an amazing amount of detail from just 64 source pixel that is the 8 cross 8 source images. How much amount of data can you get from just 64 pixel? Not much but Google it extracts an amazing amount of data and it's one of the best deep learning project till now by Google. The next project I'm going to talk about is more of a research so no challenge today is more important than creating beneficial artificial general intelligence right with broad capabilities at human level and ultimately beyond. OpenCog is a project that aims to build an open source artificial intelligence framework. 
and it is an architecture for robot and virtual embodied cognition that defines a set of interactive components designed to give rise to human equivalent artificial general intelligence. It is the world's leading open source artificial general intelligence initiative and this company is amazing. They work only on artificial general intelligence and deep learning. The human brain consists of a host of subsystems carrying out particular tasks, some more specialized, some more general in nature and connected together in a manner enabling them to usually synergetically assist rather than work against each other. That is what the OpenCog community is digging into. And the OpenCog design aims to capture the spirit of the brain's architecture and dynamics without imitating the details. And I'm sure you guys might have heard of Sophia, the great AI bot. It is one of the first of its kind to possess the traits of artificial general intelligence. We are still in the narrow aspect, but again, you know how Sophia is capable of reacting to emotions, speech, that has never been seen before. Now, next project I'm going to talk about is Deep Mimic. A long standing goal in character animation is to combine data driven specification of behavior with a system that can execute a similar behavior in a physical simulation, thus enabling realistic responses to perturbation and environmental variation. As you can see here in the image, a stick figure dancing in various aspects in different physical simulation. This is something which is being used heavily in the animation industries, in movies and a lot of other areas where you cannot physically create something you need to create a system that can behave in a physical environment. So Deep Mimic is an example guided deep reinforcement learning of the physics based character skills. The reinforcement learning method can be adapted to learn robust control policies which are capable of imitating a broad range of example motion clips as you can see here while also learning complex recoveries adapting to changes in morphology and accomplishing user specified goals. So it's not just about action. It's also about reaction and that is an amazing area of reinforcement learning and you can get the code of deep mimic from the description down below. I have given the link for the GitHub repository. Now enough about robots. Just imagine you have half an image of a scene and you wanted the full scenery. Well, that's what image outpainting can do for you. This project is a Keras implementation of Stanford image outpainting paper and Keras being a very high level API which is being used heavily with Theano and TensorFlow for imaging purposes. It is one of its kind. And the model was trained with 3500 scraped beach data with argumentation totaling up to 10,500 images for 25 epochs. Now, as you can see from this image here, the final image which is created by this particular project, I would say, is astonishingly amazing. And this is a paper with a detailed step by step explanation. And it's a must try example for all the deep learning enthusiasts, I would say. And personally, me being a photographer, this is one of my favorite deep learning projects. Now, last but not the least, I'm going to talk about IBM Watson. So, Watson is an IBM supercomputer that combines artificial intelligence and sophisticated analytical software for optimal performance, such as a question answering machine. Now, this supercomputer is named for the IBM's founder, which is the Thomas J. Watson, hence IBM Watson. And it is powered by the latest innovation in machine learning and deep learning. Watson is the open multi cloud platform that lets you automate the artificial intelligence life cycle. It all sounds so difficult and confusing, but the applications of Watson underlying cognitive computing technologies are almost endless. It's your imagination which is going to be the limit. Now, because the device can perform text mining and complex analytics on huge volumes of unstructured data, it can support a search engine for an expert system with capabilities far superior to any previously existing. Now, if we talk about the amazing use of IBM Watson, it is being used in healthcare a lot, and IBM Watson is supporting a lot of hospitals. All of the hospitals using IBM Watson are able to get the results fast and as I mentioned earlier about the 12 Sigma, they are also working for the cancer detection, lung cancer, 
be it breast cancer detection and all of the procedures which require imaging as a task to know whether you have a particular infection or a disease IBM Watson is doing wonders there you cannot imagine how much advancement it has made in the healthcare industry it is also used for analytics purpose a lot of companies which need a lot of computation and complex analysis to be done text mining to be done they make the use of IBM Watson now Watson is being used by IBM partner program as a chatterbot to provide the conversation for children's toys that's a very good step by IBM and if we talk about teaching IBM Watson is being used for several project relating to education Watson is being made available inside electronic textbooks to provide natural language one-to-one -one tutoring to students on the reading material that's a really amazing step forward taken by IBM Watson so guys with this we come to the end of this particular video and as you can see all of these projects out there the projects I'm going to talk about are all in the positive area of AI and deep learning some people they worry about AI being the end of human civilization or AI being the end of human intelligence or AI surpassing the human intelligence that is not the case the case here is to create something which really helps us to create a better world around us and with this we come to an end of this particular video now I hope these projects are enough to get you started on the deep learning and you can check out the links to each of these projects the github source codes are all there and you can play around with the code make your own new project and who knows you might be the next inventor so guys if you have any question regarding this session please feel free to mention it in the comment section below till then thank you and happy learning i hope you have enjoyed listening to this video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to edureka channel to learn more happy learning